Hi everyone. Right, what I've got here now, um, I, some of you will recognise these from America. These were sent by Marlene uh, and the little frames and corners. And um, they're made like um, uh, oh, what they called? I'm not sure what they're called. Not sure. Um, the Miss Elizabeths. Um, they're just a scrapbook embellishment. It doesn't say what they're made from. It, it's kind of rubbery. But I'm going to show you how to do a, a vintage look. You need some black acrylic paint and just colour them in. Leave them, they've already come stuck onto this, so leave them like that. But it saves you ruining the desk or your paper underneath or anything. <coughs> and just make them, I'm going to make these into a vintage look. So what you do is just paint the whole frame uh, black. These really look nice when they're done. They're like a circular motion, and that way you actually um, <coughs> do get into the nooks and crannies of the frame. I'm sorry if you hear that noise on my computer, but ever since I've uh, got the computer back, because it went down for um, over a week, the hard drive um, failed. And when I took it into the menders, <coughs> he said I'd need a new one, so they put me a new hard drive in, gave me the old one back, and I've now got to try somehow and uh, get somebody to take my files off that I actually need, because there's a lot of my work on for my website and that on there but uh, it keeps making that silly blooming noise again and I reinstalled the webcam and all the other bits and pieces a couple more things I have to reinstall and um, it's just every time I'm filming I'm hearing that noise from the computer you know like it's breathing <laughs> but uh, anyway like I say we're just gonna carry on doing these all of them black you could do um, like um, the burnt umber or burnt sienna you could use that in the acrylic paint but I just want to do the black I hope this is filming properly I have just done the butterfly the vellum butterfly film um, but when I went to play it back before uploading it, it kept stopping. So I hope that's actually filmed properly. I hope it has. I'm not doing it again. I'm sick of doing it. Right, I think. That's it. Just double check. I need to lift it up out that light. Yeah, that's fine. Now, what I'm going to do is to... You don't need the heat gun on it for long. I'm just going to dry it as quickly and as carefully as possible.
and then I'm going to take some of the um, metallic rub-ons I think I've got that colour in I'm not sure which colour I'm after yes that's the one now I've also got some of these little dobbers finger dobbers I'm going to use one of these and while it's still on here just slightly rub very gently rub it over Now you could use that to rub and buff obviously, but I don't have any of that. And that's all you need to do. So I've just used the silver of the rub and buff. I'm just going to show you that up close. But what I need to do now is to <coughs> peel back. I'm just going to use some tweezers for this. Because I just want to take it off. you do have to get rid of the paint and you just peel that off um, let me get a bit of plastic if you do what I do and cut all your you know when you buy anything in a packet cut the plastic off because it's great for things like this once you, you know you've peeled it off we're just going to let that dry a bit on there Say, just take off the excess paint. I'm just showing you what to do, so we'll just trim this up later. And show you the look. Uh, it's like an antique look that you get with it. Like I say, we'll, with it being sticky back, it sticks straight back onto this plastic and you can get rid of the mess that's left behind from the painting it. Okay. Let's just do the middle one. And we'll do the frame. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that's quite clean that one. And there you go, and that's what you've ended up with. You've now got an antique frame with the corners and the top bit that can sit on top of the frame itself. What you can do with that is give it a coat. When well, you've gone round taking all the tatty ends off, is um, to then give it a coat of varnish, and that will keep that on permanent. We'll give it a spray of varnish, whichever you've got. Isn't that good? Sorry, trying to get it in focus. Antique frames. Thanks for watching.